everyone. <laughs> oh my Giona here. Today I'm going to be watching more BGYO. I'm going to take a break from the music videos, I think. But um, Major Teddy sent me a list of stuff to watch and I'm going to be watching Get to Know BGYO and their first impressions of each other today. I just want to see more of them interacting and just... Because I have like this image of them from watching the music videos, but I don't even know if that's really how they act in real life. <laughs> but oh my gosh, today I actually watched, I was able to watch Akumu Live by Miki. And he's just so cute. I miss Akira's. I should really just not sleep because he goes live at like 4 a.m. my time. <laughs> so <laughs> I missed it. But yeah, I'm going to watch this one. I'm really just excited to see them interacting. I've watched one of their um, reaction videos to... Which one was it? When, when I'm with you. And it was so funny. <laughs> like Jello just going insane about the grapes. And I'm like, okay. But I, I want to see more of that. That's why I'm watching this. But yeah, three, two, one, I go. Hello, Bob. Hi, guys. I'm Jello the Chop. I thought I was gonna say your boy, and I'm like, Akira! <laughs> Why did they look so young there? Okay. There's so much fluff flying around here, though. Darn it. Si Angelo was recommended by one of our coaches. Uh, na nila si, si Angelo sa isang uh, dance uh, group, sa member of one dance group that competed abroad. So nung inibitahan namin si Angelo, hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya nagtagalan magdesisyon, pero oh. ayaw niya i-give up yung kanyang opportunity na mag-compete abroad. So biruin mo nung nagsimula ng training, Angelo will be training the whole day, 9 hours. Pagkatapos nung sa gabi, eh, lilipat siya ng dance studio para mag-training at mag-practice kasama ka ng dance studio na pupunta sa States para mag-compete. At uh, we were very proud of him that he wow. competed. I think the group landed 6th or 8th place among among 50 uh, dance studios. Wow, that's dance dedication so right that there. quite an achievement and quite... Uh, an experience for him before he finally That's decided crazy. to be full-time training. And I'm like uh, done after eight academy. hours of work. Si Jello naman, ayan, he's the tallest one. But also, yung ano niya, he looks serious, pero makulit siya sa totoo. Hey, Jello. Oh, he, he looks actually, like he would be really, yeah, like, yeah, like crazy. You start with Jello. Um, I think his leadership is instinctual and automatic when it comes to decision-making. Answer po. <laughs> Hey, answer po. Uh, <laughs> po ako. Si Mickey po. Uh, nung bagong pasok po siya dito. Wait, parang siya. Okay lang yun. Open time. Um, nung one time, uh, hahabol kasi siya sa pyesa na dance na kailangan namin i-perform. Tapos tinuturuan ko siya. Ayaw niya magpaturo sa akin kasi... <laughs> kasi <laughs> akala niya hindi daw ako dancer. <laughs> Ayaw ko magpaturo pero akala ko lang ba talaga hindi ko to dance. <laughs> okay, next impression. Ako first impression. That was funny. May ingay. Okay. Coming so, from Akira? Pag tumawa sa high pitch. Oh yeah, that's true. Pia Jello was funny. And he was tall. Ay, he's yeah. still tall. <laughs> he and was tall? I know Pia Jello from 18. Oh. Ako naman po, oh. ano, kalog. Kasi, ano, parang yung mga kasundo ko talaga siya. Nung nakita ko siya, una ko pong nakilala. Si Jello yung parang Look at Jello, he's just all smiles Joker na Tumatawa din sa sarili niyang joke Tapos <laughs> minsan tumatawa ka Minsan tumatawa kahit tulang joke Ito yung joke ko Sounds like myself <laughs> Sobrang pagkuta okay, Thank you guys <laughs> Tinis ka po Oh my gosh, that's so Akira, me laughing, Before I could uh, make a joke, uh, I would be laughing already Nagsimula si Akira Sa pagiging isang aktor so, naging bahagi siya mm -hmm. ng ilang teleserye at meron siyang pelikula at nagawin siya ng mga endorsements bago namin siya inibitahan <laughs> na 
He really Among looks familiar, actually. Sa idol group na ito. And Akira is half Filipino, half Japanese. At si Akira talaga, he's the boy next door. O, tinan niyang bait, bait siya talaga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love to him, gano'n. Pero ito mabili. And then oh si Akira gosh. naman yung laging siya nakasmile. Pag nakakasalubong mo siya, lagi siyang mumabate. Oh. Akira's a charm. His soft-spoken personality and his genuine respect. I love his I really eyes. I you an idea on how he was brought up. It's so bright. <laughs> his eyes are so bright. Right, you would look at him and it's like, si Aki, happy. Si ano po, mabait talaga. <laughs> Yun yung muna kong impresya kasi sa itsura niya pa lang, parang hindi ka, parang ano po, alam mo yung hindi po gumagawa ng uh, kasalanan. <laughs> parang ganun. For me po, Kuya Aki sounds like my classmate po. When I was in the audition before, Kuya Aki's like, oh, hello, hello, what did, where are you from? Like that. Hello, hello. Very welcoming po. Uh, ako din, same with Nate. Kasi nung una ko na-meet yung trainees nung first day ko, uh, isa si Aki sa una ko mausap sa akin. So, very mabait. Pero Aww. may vibes ako na nakuha sa kanya na sensitive siya. Parang gano'n. Uh, and I always ask Kuya Aki, uh, what's happening in the audition? Yes. Yeah. Tapos kay Jello naman po. Kasi diba ako, isa po ako sa pinakaunong kuusap sa kanya. Pero nung nasa nakatira na po kami sa isang bahay, hindi po kami gano'n nag-uusap talaga. Kasi parang ang pinakausap lang po namin. Uy, kumain ka na? Oo. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pero yun po, eventually na-build po yung relationship. Dahil, yeah. so cute. Po, ano, tawa lang ng tawa. <laughs> Pumasok po ako, kalumit ko po si Kuya Aki and Nate and uh, other trainees po. Ah, na, okay. Another trainee uh, po. And then, say the name. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun po, since sila po yung madalas ko nakausap and Kuya Aki is the oldest doon sa room. So I feel like he's the kuya po. I still can't over JL uh, being si John JL Lloyd. Eh, Narekomenda ng isang kasamahan. Si JL naman ay veterano sa singing contest. So we were looking mm-hmm. also for somebody who can be a powerful singer. And JL who used to join a lot of singing contests kahit sa ibang stasyon, kabilang stasyon ay naging bahagi siya doon. And so I felt wow. uh, he has potential to be part of this. And the experience so, too. Naman, ano siya? Siya na yun, no joke. Uh, <laughs> siya makulit actually. Si JL makulit siya talaga. Ito lang mahihan. Yeah, yeah he looks like he is. Tapos yung kay JL naman, pagiging natural niya, kung ano yung nakikita mo yun na yun. And JL, JL, <laughs> that's why they're saying, uh, that's him, that's him, JL, that's him. Yay! Uh, <laughs> JL po, unang kita ko pa, alam niyo po yung parang ano, ano? machete. <laughs> machete. <laughs> What's machete? Ma, yung Pilipinong Pilipino, ganun. Pero nung nakausap ko po, kalog, yun po. parang jello, ganun. <laughs> Hey, JL was mus- is muscle man. <laughs> hey, wala na. Muscle <laughs> man? Kuya, Kuya JL is like the armored titan. <laughs> so, yes, po, uh, Kuya, Kuya, Kuya JL dati po, uh, nanotice ko po is parang may lig po siya sa shoes. Oh, yeah, he did mention um, his Jordans. The first day of uh, boot camp, I asked Kuya JL, did you bring training clothes? And he had jeans only. Pinahiram mo ko ni Akira. Pero kung forma yun talaga dyan. Kaya sa tabi na rin. Nakala ko kasi walang training. Ako nata lang yun. Ako po, kasabay ko po kasi si JL mag-audition. So, siya yung tipong tao na feeling ko makakasundo ko kapag nasa school kami pareho. Like, magiging tropa ko siya. And kalag siya, madaldal. Very true lang. Nalala ko pa nang sabi ko. Pagpasok natin, tayo lang mag-usap pa. Pagpapakinan natin, makasundo yun. Totally gatekeep like Jello. Huling nakapasok sa grupo ay si Miki. Si Miki also was recommended to us. And we interviewed him and then asked him to do a few raps. Meron na potential sa rapping itong batang to. And I think, nung simula yan, si Miki eh, may angst, maraming angst. So, yun yung pinaghuhugutan ng kanyang rap and everything else. Oh. Siya yung huling naging miyembro ng aming uh, idol group. Si Miki, yan yung ano. Si Miki, honestly, kanayin, na, kanayin ko. Pero, siya yung mysterious type. I mean, yeah. Nila, hindi nila He has ano, like a, pero, that sa totoo, mis- mystery and then, going on. And naman, yung pagiging professional niya. Siguro nadala din sa character na binigay natin, namin sa kanya. Miki naman, 
uh, we get we get along a lot when it comes to styling, as he's probably the fashion enthusiast in the group. Mm-hmm. I think he's actually the sweetest. Ricky, I thought uh, I ask I ask uh, our boss, who's the right there announcing there's gonna be a oh, member. Yeah. I ask our boss, what's the new member like? And then they told me he's we're similar, different face, but kind of same body and same <laughs> kind of personality and interest. <laughs> That's a way to describe <laughs> both of you. May kumalat na parang chika na may kulay do yung buhok ng bagong member. Blue hair. Tapos pagdating mo lang tama. Pero na nakita na po namin siya bago siya pumasok. Mismo ng araw kasi yung so yung nagpakilala po sa kanya, kilala ko po. Meron siyang picture kasama yung isang boss ko. Ay, eto ka ako yun, sabi ko. Sa tanong niya, nakita namin sa. Oh. Uh, first impression ko kay Mikis yung cool kid po, na mysterious, mysterious type. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he seems very quiet. Ano man, ako naman napansin ko. Or maybe po, these guys are just too loud. Yung mga accessories niya. <laughs> Kasi ako before naghahanap talaga ako ng mga ganun. Tapos nakita ko sa kanya, tapos tinanong ko agad, sabi hmm. niya customized. So n- Oh. Na may sa parang gusto ko i-try pero ang hirap. <laughs> ah. Ako siguro ay ah, ko ko na lang ulit sa school. <laughs> like uh, siya siguro yung tipong sobrang magiging close ko pero may mga arguments kami pero sobrang close kami. Yeah. So si Nate ang tanging na iwan dun sa audition uh, na yon na naganap for Star Hunt Academy. Pero even before that audition, oh. veterano na po si Nate ng mga dance uh, competitions from Dance Kids oh. to World of Dance Philippines. Eh, naging bahagi na po si Nate nito. So marami na po siyang natutunan at marami siyang experience na na may babahagi. And Nate also had his uh, formal training in dance sa Chicago sa state. So mm. isa po siya nagrepresenta ng uh, mga second generation Filipino-Americans. So natutuwa kami mm. na uh, Nate decided to be based in Manila and to be part of this group. We start with Nate. Si Nate is the youngest one. Pero siya yung itsura ng quiet. Pero kung sasayaw siya, <laughs> he just looks quiet. Parang nagtatransform siya. Siguro yung kay Nate, yung kakulit na yung sa set, yung kailangan parang masaya lagi, ganyan. Nate boy being the youngest just makes you want to take care of him. I love his so curiosity and his innocence. And his huge respect to people that he looks up to. Hey, oh. hey baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, una ko pong nakita si Nate. Uh, feeling ko naman po friendly siya, pero hindi ko siya kinakausap <laughs> sa English <laughs> But now I talk to Kuya JL a lot. Yes. So I guess he uh, understands him. Maybe, he, maybe boot, does he have a hard time po. speaking in Filipino though? Uh, parang hindi ko ga- gusto ko siyang kausapin ng kausap pero hindi ko makausap. Is that what Jail said? Parang ay, bakit hindi ako maintindihan ganun. Pero nung nakausap ko po siya, sobrang fun niya lang po tapos parang go with the flow na tao. Eh, hindi ko nakasundo ko naman po siya kagad din. Yeah. Si Boss Nate na bunso. Boss Nate. <laughs> Boss Nate. <laughs> kay, kay Nate po, uh, actually uh Ang first impression ko po is he knows how to dress well po talaga because when I saw his outfits po sobrang that's cool bro <laughs> and then and then his uh, outfits parang wow mahal niyan bro parang ganun. <laughs> Same as Mickey we the first day he entered I when he moved into our bedroom we were we were having conversations so long about <laughs> like fashion and stuff. Yeah, I think um, they vibe need, together uh, because of that. Impression ko sa kanya, syempre, dancer, uh, before ako pumasok sa Star Hunt Academy, yeah. nag-research, research, nag-research, research na ako kung sino ba sila yung mga kasama ko. And mm. feeling ko nung una, hindi kami magiging close kasi siguro, um, pinagsasabay ko kasi yung training ko sa labas with Star Hunt. So, habang tumatagal, naging close ko na rin sila, lahat, lalo na si Nate. Then, lately, na-realize namin na parehas pala kami ng, sa mm-hmm. personality test. Like, if yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, feeling ko talaga ang dami naming pinagkakaintindihan ng mga bagay. Yes. Yeah. And also, okay, Nate, po, so before deep. I joined Star Hunt Academy, I was uh, stalking all their profiles <laughs> and then I came across Nate's uh, IG, IG account and nakita ko, wow, 30 plus, uh, 30 plus, I mean, 30 yeah. plus K followers on IG. And then I, uh, <laughs> I saw one of his videos dancing and then World of Dance pala siya. And then I saw his rehearsal videos and I was like, oh my, 
paano ko hahabulin ko <laughs> when, I go, when I go inside the camp and train? Parang, I was uh, really nervous kasi mm-hmm. in-expect ko. Everyone was like that. And totoo nga po, all of them worked so good po. And yun mo, mas lalo po akong kinaban nung first day ko po talaga. And I was looking for them. Ah, siya pa rin. Ah, siya pa rin. Ah, siya pa rin. Uh, <laughs> I got intimidated po kasi pagpasok ko, lahat sila mga 10,000 plus followers na. <laughs> They actually Kami looked up each other. Kami tayo mga 1K. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, mataas mata- mata- na yung hindi mo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pala ako kay Nate nung bootcamp. Halima po sumayo. <laughs> Kinukuha ko pa lang po yung step kabisado niya. <laughs> oh, I'll add an impression kay Nate. Uh, feeling ko K-pop fan talaga siya. The way he... He style. Yeah. Oh, I wanted more! Thank you so much, Major Teddy, for sending me that, that video. That was actually very helpful. I learned a lot more about them. Um, but I guess my impression of them is kind of um, similar to their impressions of each other. Like, now that we're on a topic, maybe I'll just give my first impression. Um, maybe not first impression, but just how I see them. Uh, Jello, he really looks like um, he's a good leader. Seems like he really takes care of his members a lot. I know, well, he seems like he plays around, but... I feel like when it's time to like actually work, he would be like the serious type and he would tell people like, okay, this is what we're doing. And like he would really lead the group. He gives out that kind of vibe. Um, he's just so funny when he laughs. <laughs> and like his face is like, you can see all his teeth and he he's just all smiles. <laughs> I don't know, he brightens up my day, but he's just so funny. He looks like he would hit someone if he, like, when he's laughing. I don't know, I really relate to, um, to Jello and Akira. First of all, I always relate to April babies because I, I was born in April as well. And so, automatically, if I know someone was born in April, I kind of just connect to them right away. And so with Jello, it was like that, and Akira as well. But maybe, I don't know, personality wise, maybe I would be a mix of them because I'm not as friendly as Akira. <laughs> I'm not the one who goes like, hello, hello, when there are new people, I'm more like, mm. and then if they talk to me, then I, I talk to them. But I wish I could be like Akira, who is just so friendly. Also, one more thing about Akira. Um, the way he speaks is so... Mm, how should I say it? Like very Barkada kind of... If that even makes sense. But I have a lot of friends who are boys. And that's how we talk. Like how Akira talks to them. That's kind of like... I don't even know if I'm making sense. But that very tropa, barcada, like kind of vibe, that's how he talks. And I, I think it's it's just cute. But yeah, um, Akira feels like a, a friend. Like a, a best friend kind of um, vibe for me. Like he's very similar to um, my boyfriends. Um... And then JL. JL seems like he's very mysterious at first too, but <laughs> the more videos I see, he's just insane. And like their tweets and all of that. He's he's pretty crazy. I've probably seen the most JL memes out of everyone. Like he has the most memes that I've seen so far. His facial expressions are just hilarious. Um but yeah, I mean his voice is so good though. Yeah, he's, he's pretty crazy. <laughs> I feel like I would get so tired if I'm if I'm with JL. But he, he would be awesome to be with for like maybe a few hours. And then I won't be able to keep up with his energy. Um, Miki. I don't know. I think my personality clashes with Miki. Um, just because I'm not really into fashion and stuff like that. <laughs> And he's very mysterious. I feel like if I didn't know he was Miki and I just meet him somewhere, I 
he won't really like talk to me and I won't really talk to him kind of thing. He he seems very aloof. But I mean, when I watch him doing live, he's he seems like a fun guy. But personality-wise, I feel like I'm like very far from um Miki's personality. And then Nate, like they said, you just feel like taking care of Nate. He's so cute. Oh, Miki's so cute too. But Miki is cute, but mature, like very independent vibe. But Nate is kind of like the clumsy vibe. Like, okay, he's he's my bunso. I would, I want to take care of him. Want to feed him things. He has that vibe to him. But um, he's just funny. I don't hear him talk in Filipino a lot, but is it because he's more used to English? I'm not sure. But <laughs> Nate is so cute though. I want to put him in my pocket. You just go like, Nate, he's so cute. They're all so cute actually. But yeah, I guess I'll just watch. Because I don't know which stuff I can watch on my own. I really want to watch their documentary. Maybe when I watch more Beanie and I get to know them um, a bit more. Because I know it's like a joint like documentary with Beanie and BGYO. But I'll watch those. And yeah. <laughs> what were your first impressions when you saw um, BGYO for the first time? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.